Hello and welcome to the news this week, your one-stop source for the latest happenings in the world of alcoholic beverages and hospitality sector. I am Shalini Kumar and today I am here to share with you all the latest news that matters to you. The weekly news bulletin covers the latest updates on policy and regulatory issues, national and international developments, new launches and more. The news this week is powered by the most trusted trade publication, Spirits. Here are the major headlines before the detailed news. Liquor industry urges for price rise. Maharashtra to relaunch home delivery of liquor. No lowering of age limit in Karnataka for liquor purchase. 400 shops to be relocated in Madhya Pradesh. CBI arrests Sisodia again. Integra Essentia to enter wine business. Now, news in detail. The Maharashtra's Excise Department is expected to relaunch home delivery of liquor which was introduced to avoid long queues during COVID-19 lockdown and was discontinued in the post-lockdown environment. A notification is likely to be issued soon. The Maharashtra Prohibition Act 1949 empowers the Excise Department of Maharashtra to issue a notification without making any changes in the Act. The Karnataka government has withdrawn its proposal of lowering the age limit for the purchase of liquor in the state. The proposed amendment had faced huge criticism from public, media and associations. The committee was set up to examine this proposal following waves of objections which were made from various quarters. A period of 30 days was given for suggestions and objections which have expired now. Now, the minimum age limit for liquor purchase in Karnataka remains at 21. Manish Sisodia, Delhi's Deputy Chief Minister, has been arrested by CBI after eight hours of questioning. He has been booked for the alleged corruption in the now scrapped Delhi excise policy of the 2021-22 fiscal. According to the CBI, Sisodia, who is head of the Delhi excise department, did not cooperate in the investigation and was replying ambiguously to their queries. The agency claims that the now scrapped excise policy of Delhi has suffered from irregularities in both formulation and implementation. He has been sent to fight a remand that is till 4th March under CBI for the alleged irregularities in the now scrapped Delhi's excise policy. According to Sisodia, there is no proof for evidence against him and he has knocked the doors of Supreme Court challenging his arrest and the manner of CBI investigation in the alleged Delhi liquor scam. Following the Madhya Pradesh government's decision to increase the distance of liquor shops from educational institutions and religious sites from 50 meters to 100 meters, almost 400 liquor shops are expected to be relocated. The State Excise Department's survey in this regard will be completed in the next three days and further actions will be taken shortly. A number of the major liquor companies in India, including Diageo, Parnorica, Radico Khetan, and United Breweries, strongly urge for price increase of alcohol products from the state governments following inflation in the key raw materials which according to them has reduced their gross margins significantly. 
the retail and wholesale prices of alcoholic beverage products are controlled by the states which makes these products pricing in the country not always responsive to the fluctuations in market forces. After the New Delhi based Integra Essentia announced its plans to acquire assets of Chateau Indige Winery for 40 crore rupees, the shares of Integra Essentia escalated by 4%. Integra Essentia has been engaged in agro products, textiles and garments, infrastructure and energy business and this announcement of acquisition can be easily construed as its foray into India's fast growing wine sector. According to the company, this acquisition is in line with its vision to expand its footprint in the FMCG businesses. The set Assets comprise a land parcel of 58,612 square meters, buildings spread across an area of 16,629 square meters, and equipment including 60 lakh liters of stainless steel storage, among others. The purchased assets are located in Narayan Gaon town of Pune. The area has the right climate for grape cultivation. Beam Santori, a world leader in premium spirits, has announced 2022 full year results where it shows that its net sales increased during 2022 by 10.5% year on year, representing 24% growth versus the pre pandemic year of 2019. Premium brands of Beam Santori grew by 15% during 2022 and now represent more than half of the company's full bottle spirit sales for the first time ever. Beam Santori's ready to drink brand sales grew by 16% in the last year, driven by performance in Japan, Australia, and the US. During 2022, sales of Jim Beam grew at a single digit rate, Maker's Mark grew by 11% and Basil Hayden surged by 40%. Furthermore, Roku, Hibiki, Yamazaki, Bohor, Knob Creek, Tres Generations and Hornitos all delivered impressive double digit sales gains during 2022 as compared to that of 2021. India is becoming a hub for the new product launches targeting the youth consumers. Let's see which new products are available on the shelves in the past one week. Award-winning Scotch Whiskey Maker Campus Box has introduced a new limited edition expression with Dillos, a delicate and soothing Scotch inspired by flavors of the past. Priced at RRP of £265, it is bottled at an ABV of 49%. With an interplay of grain and malt, the loss balances some of Campas Box's rarest and most idiosyncratic stocks of whiskey to create an elegant and refined flavor. Spike Hard Seltzer, which is projected as India's first freshly brewed hard seltzer, brings a 100% vegan hard seltzer endowed with natural flavors. Launched in Bangalore, a spike hard seltzer is an all-natural, low-calorie, low-carb, naturally flavored drink endowed with 5.5% alcohol with just 2 gram carbs. Its crisp and refreshing taste comes with only 100 calories per bottle. Priced at 150 rupees for 330 ml and 180 rupees for 500 ml, Spike is also aiming to expand its spike hard seltzer's presence in Hyderabad. Maharashtra and Goa soon after their Bangalore launch. Vira 91 has announced its foray into the hard seltzers category with the launch of Grizzly Hard Seltzer A. The launch is part of the brand's ambition to move beyond beers to cater to the evolving preferences of young alcohol consumers. Grizzly is available in three flavors, 
पाइनएप्पल एंड ओकिनावा पीच एंड ब्लैक टी एंड ब्लूबेरी एंड रोजमेरी ग्रिजली हार्ट सेल्जर्स विल बी अवेलेबल इन 330 थर्टी एम एल पाइंस एंड फाइव हंड्रेड एम एल कैंस अक्रॉस बैंगलुरु एट वन सेवेंटी रुपीज़ फॉर पीच एंड ब्लैक टी एंड ब्लूबेरी एंड रॉजमेरी एंड एट वन एटी रुपीज़ फॉर पाइन एप्पल एंड ओकिनावा शुगर ऑप्शन अब कुछ मीठा हो जाए विद द अनाउंसमेंट ऑफ द लॉन्च and local production of galaxy fusions dark chocolate in india by max ridley india max ridley has entered the dark chocolate segment in india the dark delicacy is made with 70% cocoa with its launch max ridley india aims to consolidate its position in the molded chocolates category Galaxy Fusions dark chocolate will have presence in retail outlets and all e-commerce portals across the country at various price points starting with 90 rupees. Let's see what is making news in the hospitality sector. Marriott Bonvoy on Wheels, Marriott International's online food delivery program has integrated with the Club Marriott South Asia app and the Club Marriott website. Club Marriott is Marriott's dining membership program in Asia Pacific that offers its valued members a range of services and accommodation benefits at over 80 hotels within South Asia. In addition to providing real-time table reservations with this new service extension, guests and members can now indulge in decadent menus from award-winning restaurants through the Club Marriott South Asia app or the Club Marriott website. This new feature was launched recently in Delhi NCR. The app also comes with the added benefit of Marriott's food pairing recommendations. Manoj Jangir has been appointed by Fairfield by Marriott Kolkata as their new hotel manager. He comes with over 20 years of rich industry experience. He began his career in hospitality with F&B operations and has experience in curating fine dining spaces as well as in large scale catering events. Manoj who began his career in the hospitality industry as an assistant manager at Grand Hyatt Mumbai in 2009 has experience of working with the renowned hospitality brands such as Taj Hotels Hyatt Accor Hotels and Marriott International prior to this present tenure he was with JW Marriott Mumbai Sahar as the director of food and beverages For a long time Spritz has been considering ways to make a meaningful contribution to the bartending community and we recently launched a new program called Bartender's Day Out. The program's main objective is to honor and express gratitude to the hard working bartenders who dedicate long hours to perfecting their craft and serving us exceptional drinks. The inaugural edition of the event was held in collaboration with Diageo Bar Academy and Blue Dog Burga and welcomed approximately 60 bartenders mainly from the Delhi NCR region. The event was designed to offer bartenders a chance to unwind and enjoy a night out in front of the bar instead of behind it. The evening began with a master class followed by a player show exciting games and a fun filled dj night to end the event starting next year spritz will make it a regular event and take it to different parts of india with this i wrap this bulletin and will be back with you next week with fresh updates for detailed news please subscribe to spritz magazine stay well and safe